FOSWeb allows teachers to create a class with common credentials or a class with individual student accounts. In classes with common credentials, all students use the same username and password to log on and they see the same resources. We recommend teachers of grades K through 2 to use common credentials with their students for ease of use. To set up a class with common credentials, log into your FOSWeb account and go to your teacher homepage. Scroll down past My FOSS Modules and find the My Class Pages section. Click on the green Add a New Class button. Check that the Common Class Login radio button is selected. Type in a class page title. This is what is displayed to students after they log into FOSWeb. Type in the class username. The username must be unique in our system, and you may not change it once the class is created. It also cannot be reused even if the class is deleted. Some suggestions to make it unique are to use a combination of your school name, class name, or teacher name, plus the school year. Next, select a password for students to use. It must be at least eight characters long. All students in your class will use this password, so don't use a personal password and choose something that will be easily remembered. Finally, select the FOSS modules that the students in this class should have access to. Click the green Submit button when you are done. It may take a few seconds longer for your teacher homepage to load as it is creating your class in the system. Once your class is created, you will be able to add a note, assign content to the class, and edit the class password. Use the Manage Class Page link to change the name of the class page, change the modules the class sees, or delete the class page. There is a separate video on how to assign content to your classes. To log in, your students will go to fossweb.com. Once they have typed in their username and password, they should click Sign In and they will be brought to their student homepage. All students see the same thing on their homepage, including any notes you've written or content you've assigned to them. If you have more questions about your FOSWeb account, see the FOSWeb walkthrough videos and PDFs page or our help pages. You can also contact us using the form on our Contact Us page.